in the master agenda in verse 2. My brothers and sisters, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptation. When, when, when you fall, don't look at it from a negative standpoint. Notice that when you fall, maybe you have fallen so God could place your feet on a solid foundation and build you up to get to the place where he wants you to be. Every fall is not for your bad. You know we give the devil too much credit. Tell you this, stop giving the devil all the credit. Sometimes God wants you to go through some things so he can build you up. It ain't got nothing to do with Satan. God is just trying to get your attention. And you are out here talking about it's the devil. You ought to say the devil is a lie. Anything that I'm going through ain't saying some things I put on myself. He can be honest and say amen. Yeah, everything that you go through, the devil might have been the ultimate fear behind it, but it ain't always him. Because God has made you and I free moral agents of choice. I got a choice to make. I don't have to fall. If I fall, I fall because I chose to fall. Y'all didn't hear me. Because I got scripture. Can I tell y'all the Bible? Y'all ain't with me. The Bible says, choose you this day. That should have been a praise right there. Who are we going to serve? Would it be God or would it be man? The Bible says, ask for me and my house. Please, black like man. We are going to serve the Lord. I'm going to answer the question in here today. And the evidence 
Everybody in slots. Let's put a brief peg right here. Two things we need to leave with you. Hope for means expectation. Somebody say expectation. I expect God to do what he said he would do. And you and I, when the devil is attacking us, we got to learn how to believe the report of the Lord. And the report of the Lord is what the word of God says. How many of y'all believe the report of the Lord? This is the report of the Lord. Some of y'all shout hallelujah. If the devil will attack you with sickness, when I, when, I went to, when I went to New York last week, at the 7 o'clock service after I got through preaching, there was an elderly lady that knocked on the door and wanted to see her pastor rush in crying. I was getting changed. I was like, Lord, what's going on? The lady said, Pastor, I want you to know I got cancer. Yes. My heart wept for the mother as she told her pastor she had cancer. But I'm going to tell you something right